Prologue. It's an interesting art style. Some drunk Frenchman. Damn French. I don't know what... I think it's like a decision-based game. Oh no, maybe I get to move around. Remind me next time that I want to stop drinking this cloudy rot gut. This was bound to happen. Told you. You said we would go, you promised. A lot of work. And a lot of heavy glasses. Quiet. Uh, he went to prove he was more honourable than his father, so he started a fight. Five-year-old boy. You were fighting for justice at an inn. Okay, so we're a drunk. Documents and letters. Drag and drop documents to manage their layout. Events. Notebook. Consider the effects and decide the defendant's fate. Oh, so we're like a judge in court. Oh, that's actually really cool. So we're like doing the the court proceedings over the revolutionaries. That is cool. I like that. Oh, the hierarchy. Complex conflicts between you and another political player. Uh, influence points. Use them wisely. Chopping heads time. Some of your decisions change the world of the game and may cause global modifiers to come into action. These factors affect your relation, reputation, influence, and you can view them in the notebook. Uh, first I want to look at the hierarchy so that I can see where I am. Am I Fidel? I guess I'm Fidel. Judge of the Revolutionary Tribunal, generally considered a drunkard, gambler, and protege of Raymond Devi. Okay, so I'm very low on the ladder. Influence points, no notifications. What's the news? Each action may require a different number of influence points. Have different chances to succeed, consider them carefully. Okay. Is that these points? That means I only have three. Can't stay up till late today. Fair enough. Thanks for coming by, man. So, your addiction. Hang on. Click out of that for a moment. Let's see the notebook. Relations. Reputation. Influence. Okay, so... Alright, revolutionaries and the common folks. We want to try and keep them in balance. So right now the common folk pretty much like me. The revolutionaries don't mind me either. Okay, okay. We, we can work with that, I guess. Events, nothing serious yet. Okay. How do we get out of this book? Ah! Case file! What are we judging? Oh god, does it have to be written like that? Judge Alexis Fidel. So... We have not expected this kind of behaviour from your son, although apparently we should have innocent child's play turned into assault on our children. The younger one has now been chipped in the front tooth. We hope that you will punish your child accordingly. Should the situation repeat itself, we will react more decisively. I'm sure we can deal with a gambler and a drunkard, even if he is a judge. 
Okay, so they're just plainly threatening the judge. Okay, let's make our decision. Ah, from the gossip. Ignore the gossip. You heading off too, are you, man? Alright, ignore, yes. So. We chose to ignore that. So we can only talk to this kid. Questions? Ah, that's alright. Bring in the jury's good graces allows you to find out which way they will sway after you ask a question. While linking lines of inquiry category, so much to work out. Traps. Some cases may contain traps. Read through the file thoroughly in the lines of inquiry that are relevant. Alright, hang on. So, case file. Hold on. So, chip tooth punched. So, child's play. Possibility of repeating. I don't think that one's there. I think it's these three. Fighting children. Let's ask about him fighting children. Oh, I'm a little confused at what I need to do here. Um, fighting with children. Question discovered. Well, that'll do. Give me a question. How did your play turn into a fight? Our neighbours, Antonia and Jean, they were saying mean things about you when we were playing guards and they asked me to pretend to be a drunkard whom they would, you know, you're fighting both of them at once. You had to. Okay. So we fought because they were playing. Let's ask about the chipped tooth. Did you really break his tooth? Frederick is just a child. I don't know, I don't think so. Did you hit him in the face? I think I kicked him, but not that hard. You don't have to kick someone that hard to knock their teeth out. Question discovered, so... Who started the fight? I can tell you who ended it. I think it was me. I kicked the one on the left and then wanted to get the one on the right, but but they ended it. They knocked me to the ground and paid me back for hitting them. Poor kid. Alright, so... Hang on. Child's play or possibility of repeating? Child's play. Child's play, course of events, all questions unlocked. What exactly were they saying? I was not asking you, fool. They were yelling that you... Well, I told them that it's not true and they started calling you names, son of a drunkard. Okay, so we've asked all the questions. Verdict form. Right. Punishments, signature. I don't know if I'd say he's down for assault. I find the defendant guilty of the offence they were charged with... Hang on. I want to see... Are we charging this kid with assault? Because it seems like he was the one that was assaulted. And uh, it seems to me like he was the one that was assaulted. I'm going to say not guilty. I'll sign it. And I'm probably going to get everyone mad at me over that. The man has to defend the honour of his family. Okay, now I sort of get how it works. Those children are so small and they already know the truth. The father of my child is a lying, drunk gambler and Bernard used to worship you. Hmm. 
And you, Raymond? You're supposed to be my husband's mentor. Is this what you wanted to teach him? How to repeat mistakes and lose his family? I was unaware that Matt Hill had such a temper. We'll wait outside, as always. Okay. Was that the whole prologue? Just a little personal issue? I feel like you probably shouldn't be the judge over a case of your own son. They probably should have had another judge on that. Perry. Oh, there is a voice. Paddy. Liberté! We were enchanted by the idea of freedom. We could not resist it. Literally. If you did, you were guillotined. Whole families took to the streets. <laughs> France was never so happy. Yeah, at first. We were enchanted by the idea of freedom. The French Revolution got pretty damn dark. The amount of public executions that went on. Liberté. Bear one. Well, no, I just thought... He did attack him, but at the same time, he's a child. So is it really assault when a child gets into a bit of a fight? Expected sentence. Find out the first expected faction. Yeah, I feel like it's harsh to sentence a child with assault over a fight. I mean, kids fight. It's not like anyone seriously got injured. And he's a kid, so the tooth that got knocked out is probably a baby tooth. He'll, he'll grow new teeth. He'll be right. Besides, in the revolutionary days, half the population didn't have a set of proper teeth anyway. So it's not like it was that big a deal back then. Expected sentences, so... The revolutionaries are expecting me to acquit him. The common folk and the family are expecting me to imprison him. I feel like pissing off the revolutionaries is going to be bad, but we'll see. Neighborhood gossip. In this city, only the dead are free of addiction. What do you care about the people's idle gossip? Okay. Notebook. So, so far... Yeah, so far the events didn't really matter because it was just the prologue. Case file. I would like to report that Citizen Corbus does not pay the city for his stall. Furthermore, he openly criticizes the new rule when talking to his clients. Wait, is that? Ah, shit, I'm talking to him. Dan, you fresh since 1772, and a vandal since yesterday. Not proud of what I did, but enough is enough. Like when six months ago you stole eight francs from my revenue, some urchin took that from your pocket while you were silent. You shall not speak until questioned. Okay, so. I wasn't... Oh, I was done with that. I wasn't done with this. Wait, hang on. Is there two case files now? I'd like to report that Citizen Corvus does not pay the city for the stall. Yeah, okay, so... That's counter-revolutionary stuff. So what about this one? One of the local merchants, Guy Danu, went to the National Guard station near the halls with a raised voice, and he stated the owner of the neighbouring stall had purposely poured wood tar into a, his barrel of herring. Okay, that'll mess up the fish. Uh, okay, so... For this supposed crime, Danu demanded a proper punishment. Soldiers went to the halls and established that the herring did indeed taste awful. 
So they tried it first. So it didn't taste awful. The guys would just had free fish. So that Mr. Herring didn't taste, taste awful. Since there was no evidence of the crime, they did not take any action. Ah, that's a problem. A few hours later, the guards returned to the halls. This time it was the formerly accused John Corbus who called for them. There was a plethora of evidence on the site, the nearest being Daniel himself, smashing his neighbor's stall with a long wooden pole in front of witnesses. Wow, it's wrong that they didn't persecute in the first place, but that doesn't excuse him attacking. <laughs> okay. Protocol. Do we have protocol? Let's not commence the trial just yet. I'd like to ask some questions. So... See, this is weird. Um, wood tar... Crime scene. Ah, incorrect link. That means I only get to ask one more. Crap. Um... Counter-revolutionary question discovered. Okay, let's ask him that then. We found your denunciation of the citizen Kerbis. Why did you write it? Did it because he was starting to... S he started selling sprats. Monsieur le judge? Monsieur le judge? I just wanted to help the city. Every store hoarder pays for their place in the halls. Corbus should pay too. I mean, I agree. This guy should be paying. Do you remember hiding from the royal collector at the bushes? <laughs> I was trying to avoid royal taxes. You only started after the beginning of the revolution. So right now the jury is leaning a bit more towards acquittal. Okay. Let's try and unlock another question, so... Instrument of the crime. Wooden pole. Let's ask about the pole. Why were you beating his door with a pole? What products does Citizen Kerbis sell? Fruit and vegetables. And you sell fish. Straight from your port and Pettis Dallies. Okay. I see that. Why did one of you come to the halls with wood tar and the other with a wooden pole? That's a decent question. Citizen? That stick must have been lying near the store. Clearly planned his actions. That's a little suspicious. I didn't think about that. Why did they have those things? They had nothing to do with what they were selling. Stall next to the entrance. Crime scene. Citizen Corbus, come closer. Why? Questions for the witness. Do you really dispute the new order? Is it true that he took his place at the entrance of the town hall? He took the place first from a dead merchant. I only did the same at a convenient time. What was your first conflict? In the late 70s, when the tight fish child asked me to lend him 30 franc, it took me two years to get it back. Okay, so he didn't pay you back. See that you wish to add something, but please refrain from doing so. Why did you have wood tar that day? Yeah, because that's weird. The, the pole I can almost believe would be around, but the wood tar, someone specifically brought that. I sell fruit, but my suppliers sometimes buy wood tar as it repels pests. I suppose in a way that kind of makes sense. Why did you pour the barrel into his barrel? I did nothing of the sort. He probably poured it in himself to denounce me again. Interesting. So he claims he didn't do it. That's one more question, but I don't know what to ask. I mean, the only one is old denunciation, but I don't remember how that was relevant. Page one. There is no old denunciation. Um, yeah, the guards found no evidence initially. And that guy claims he didn't do it, so maybe he really didn't. Maybe someone else did it and he just 
attacked him, assuming he did it. Oh! Notifications 4, I just realised that I was meant to be keeping up with these. Ah, oh, neighbourhood gossip, my reputation went down. But I did gain some influence points. Common folk and revolution- yeah, basically everyone's not happy with me. Okay. Well, back to my line of questioning. So, all the denunciations. I feel like... Oh, that was lucky. It would appear that your conflict has continued for some time now. It all started when the scoundrel placed his stall where mine should be next to the entrance. Yeah, I'm starting to turn against this guy a bit more. Was it your place and you took it after the old crochet? Silence! Now that I think of it, it may have started even earlier. John once refused to pay for a red mullet taken by his wife. My whole family fell ill because of the rotten carcass. You should be happy I... <laughs> so he sold him bad fish. Now the jury is leading towards prison. I see, so if I had wanted to, I could have not asked the last question while the jury was leading towards um, acquitting him, and I probably could have got the people on my side to acquit him as well as the revolutionaries. I feel like this guy's a bit... He's been fighting with them for so long, and he's just angry, and he's going to do it again. So, verdict form. So why can I commence a trial as well as... Ah, oh, it's just reviewing everything I've already done. Okay, verdict form. Hey, I see, so I need to keep them. Because if it gets too low, there's a risk of dying. This is going to piss off the revolutionaries, but I'm going to go with... Yeah, the common folk really like it, but uh, the revolutionaries do not. I'll send him to prison, and I'll sign it, because I'm pretty sure this guy's aggressive and he will just keep messing with that stall. Better warn the guards, they won't have an easy life. People will be happy with such a severe penalty. Revolutionaries definitely aren't, but the people are very happy with it. Okay. Next case. Day two, or are we doing two cases in a day? May I remind you that you promised to join me? I have a feeling that tonight's moon favours gamblers. Oh no. Does not favour spouses. God should grace us with wives who understand the importance of an evening game of dice. You should also know the right amount of wine guarantees a lucky roll. Well, I figured, I surprised at my verdict, like, he seems aggressive. At first I was sort of on his side, but then when the other guy's talking about their argument has gone way back, he stole that spot from someone else when they died, he sells bad fish to people that nearly killed them, like, yeah, I don't think the other guy actually did it to his stall, I think someone else did it and he just got mad and assumed it was him and went crazy, like, he just seems like a violent, hostile person. And after all the questioning, the jury was on my side, so why not? Bring a judge to the game that has benefits. Other players will surely not cheat. You're going to make me go gambling, aren't you? Ah, damn it. I want to look at the hierarchy, but I can't. Should I go gambling or go home? Well, by imprisoning him, it said the people and the family were happier. So I should keep my promise with him now and go gambling, because I already earned reputation with my family. Because that should balance out the negative gain and, gain and loss. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> 
Oh, the wife is not happy. <laughs> She's real mad. <laughs> Next time we will spend time with family. The moon favors gamblers. I just felt like it should balance out, hopefully. Late evening, the judge's house. Oh, we're gonna get yelled at by the wife. What? You can berate me as you always do. Deep sea sailor, he dreams that you visit distant countries, have wonderful adventures, and one day you'll return to tell us all about it. The only sea is a man in a lifeboat. One of your oars is broken, and a furious storm churns huge waves, and you are fated to devour you. Standing on the edge of a cliff, holding a makeshift lamp, your children have already forgotten about you, and they are far, far away. Your father died of old age, and your drinking companions now play cards with new friends. But not you. Hoping your boat does not sink. So she hasn't given up on me just yet by the sounds of it, but she's not happy. We'll see. Influence of your actions in court. The decision in court can influence your relations with people. Oh, okay, so it's just showing me. Upon returning home, you can decide how you would like to spend the rest of the day. Each character's attitude will change. Your younger son's special. His attitude makes the other family members like you slightly more. Take good care of him. Okay, so he's important to look after. After various important events, you may find yourself with an action forced upon you. On this day, you become a victim of your own decisions. Crap. It's gonna backfire on me. Alright, so you went with David to play cards, so... Playtime with children, paragraphs, and... So if I'd gone home, I feel like I would have had these other decisions. Or maybe they're upcoming later, I'm not sure, but... Okay. Cannot change this action. Let's click on the sun. I'm not sure why, but... Oh, okay. I don't think it matters who you click on. Hey, people. Good to see that some of you made it to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this content, there should be much more like it on my channel. Feel free to subscribe to see some more. Check out some of my links in the description. I stream on Twitch three, four days a week. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll put some links for some other videos on the screen that you can enjoy now. See you all in the next one, I hope.